Hi everyone, Silver Joker here. Okay, so we can all agree that the news that we get on a daily basis is not great, especially when it comes to the banking system, the economy, and our overall financial health. There are some things that are going on that could definitely affect the way we look at our finances going forward, our personal finances. So I went down and talked to my local coin store owner, Clay. He owns Main Street Coin. And when I pressed him, he reluctantly shared with me some of the advice he gives his clients when they ask him about this very thing, how to protect yourself financially when it comes to precious metal. So we're back here with uh, with Clay. How are you doing, Clay? Doing good, Don. <laughs> and Larry, he happens to be on the phone right now. Larry's busy uh, all the time. He's busy all the time. Um, how's business, man? Are people still, is silver still as much in demand as it always has been? You see a change or yeah, what's going on? I think on? Uh, the wave of demand just kind of continues to build, yeah. honestly. So we haven't seen it slack up very much at all. Yeah, so that you can you uh, attribute that demand still to just the nervousness in the market or you? Yeah, I mean, you know, they did a poll last week and 48% of Americans said they had some concern about their money in the bank. I can reassure the members of the committee that our banking system is sound. In the last 48 hours, First Republic's credit rating was downgraded into junk territory. Its stock plunged, and some raced to take out their money earlier this week. It's scary. I mean, the last 24 hours has, have been like, get your money out. We're very focused right now on stabilizing the banking system. Yeah. You know, I hate to give people advice about anything money. Right. But when my clients press me about this, this is my answer. It's reasonable to have about 10% of your net worth in some kind of physical, tangible, liquid, monetary asset under your control. You know, that is more than enough of an insurance policy. If everything went sideways, you could restart and potentially even, you know, have more than you had before. But, you know, I tell people, don't view it as an investment. If you're going to buy 100 ounces of silver and sweat bullets and be obsessed every time, you know, the Fed comes out and it drops a dollar an ounce. These are long-term investments or they're insurance policies that, that basically protect the labor that we've saved in, in fiat currencies that we don't control. Absolutely. And that's that's so, exactly how I look at it. This is this is freedom and control. Right. And keep in mind, risk always moves up the chain from, from less risky things and eats eats the chain above it. Right. You know, even with the banks, yeah, it's great that J.P. Morgan Chase can come in and, and gobble up all this. Well, how many rotten ducks can J.P. Morgan eat until, until the very pinnacle of the U.S. banking system starts to teeter a little bit? That's down the road in my mind. Yes. So, you know. The thing is to just diversify. Have something as a contingency. If this doesn't work, then have this to rely on and so forth and, and so on. And it's, I think physical silver does that perfectly. It's a protection. It's, you know, it's an insurance policy. It's insurance, You absolutely. just got to have some. That's what it boils down to. You've got to have some. There's some interesting gold here, actually. Um, yeah, I was... You don't ever see these Johnson Matthey gold bars. Yeah, that's what I was focusing board. on right now. You're right about that. I think these are probably the first ones I've seen For bullion, in person. Um, these are actually a very rare uh, item. I think they're beautiful. Man, they are. Johnson Matthey is just a nice, nice bar anyway. Those probably date back to the 70s or 80s. Wow. Yeah, nice. Johnson Matthew. I mean, those are nice. Let me look at that um, generic band real quick. Not uh, much in there today. Not much in there today, so I'll probably be taking all of this with me. I did get a couple of these. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I know. I bought one of these from you. These are nice. Man, they are nice. And I like that they put that underneath yeah. the wrap like that. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's a nice looking bar. These are nice. You sell a lot of these? Um, we do sell a fair amount. Oh, that's good. People either want one of those or 50 of them. It's kind of one of those type of items. And those bars right there are strictly for 
asset protection for uh, yes. For, I mean, stacked. In the they safe. get stacked in a safe somewhere, right? Yep. And they're that's strictly for emergencies or whenever you retire to yeah. you know kind of it's supplement. A, it's a good size, income. basically. You know, right. thirty two point one five ounces. You know, the next regular size is a hundred ounce bar. Hundred ounce bars are pretty. A lot of talk surrounding this idea of CBDCs, the uh, central bank digital currencies. You know what? I I don't feel like I know enough about that really, Don. Um, I know it wouldn't be a good thing for our freedoms and our ability to <laughs> well, that's buy fair. or sell whatever we want to. <laughs> yeah. um, I tend to not um, think that's coming as quickly as some people. Right. There's going to be a lot of hurdles in a country like America to rolling out a, a full CBDC. Yeah. Like you, I question, um, you know, what the motives actually would be. I mean, I'm not afraid of it like you. I'm not nervous about it because right now there's nothing to really worry about because, you know, the unknown is just what it is, the unknown. Their, but, motive, their motives can't possibly be good. <laughs> Let's just put it like that. Okay, they, well. they, they never are. <laughs> that I mean, might, might have done it there. Well, I'll tell you right. There, well, look, there, there's, there's, it's not like there's no, there's no precedent there. Right, right, right that's for sure. <laughs> what better way to facilitate mass... Um, introduction of it immediately you know here's a thousand dollars in you know fed coin or whatever wow. you don't have to use it but if you want it it's there just download the fed app on your phone right? there you go so. <laughs> i don't see anything wrong i don't see anything <laughs> happening bad with that yeah what could go wrong with i could go wrong with that yeah. who knows what they would be but right i'm sure the rollout would include numerous new rules oh, right. that's what i'm yeah. saying and i you know i don't know if i'll put that in the video well, as long as your social credit score is high enough, you know, they'll let you. Just this episode will take both of our scores down like five points. Yeah, we're, we're done. Yeah. But it's all in fun. I mean, it's oh, all yeah. really just speculation yeah. right now. I mean, nobody knows what's going to happen. Absolutely. I mean, it's fun to think about, you know, conspiracy theories, all that kind of stuff. It's kind of fun to think about sometimes. Plus, here's the thing. Once they get finished mismanaging their paper currency into the dustbin of history, <laughs> maybe nobody will want the new digital one. We're going off the rails here, Clint. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to end the podcast right here. I uh, appreciate your time, Larry. Good to have you back from uh, from uh, uh, vacation. Good to be back. Good yeah. seeing you. And uh, we'll talk about some more silver. I right, appreciate you guys' time. Thanks. Okay. All right, look. Am I afraid that my money isn't safe in the bank? Or that some new monetary system is going to be put in place that's going to upend the status quo and make it difficult for me financially? The answer to that is no. I've been banking for a very long time and I've always been able to access my cash in the bank when I needed it. Now, is it going to be that way forever? I don't know. That's why I stack physical silver. That's why I have something else to rely on besides just what I have in the bank and my access to it. You see, this is the thing with stacking physical metals. The security that my silver stack provides is worth every dime that I spend to acquire it. I mean, that's just where I am because I know I have things put in place. I have a contingency should things go sideways. To me, there is no better thing, physical thing that I can have in my possession than physical metals. And that's why I stack it. Anyway, that's all I got today. We're just going to keep this silver train rolling. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.